Hello guys and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. My name is Digi and today we're going to have a quick look at the boss battle with Marguerite in the greenhouse. Um, pretty easy to do I felt in terms of boss battles. Um, took me two attempts in total which was fine. Uh, the first one I pretty much emptied every single piece of ammo I had into her so the second I was a little smarter so what you'll want with you is pretty much everything you want your handgun with some ammo you want your shotgun with some ammo you want that flamethrower thing with some ammo and you want the grenade launcher that you'll pick up from back in the house with the crow key and once you head into this area which is beyond the trailer uh, the bottom floor door will be closed, so you want to go upstairs and open the door. Now, so far you're safe. Nothing's going to attack you, nothing to freak you out. Have a look around and find any items you can. The more items, the better. By the way, just to explain the fact that you can hear me in the background, this video that I'm doing now, the video footage, is taken from the live broadcasts I'm doing of this game. So every time I hit a boss battle or anything of interest, I just extract the footage and voice over it like I'm doing now. So once you're done searching the top floor, you jump down to the next floor. Again, you are safe for now. Until you actually try and head back up the stairs, you are safe. So do search around and see what you can find. You cannot get through those uh, bars until the end when you've beaten the boss. I think you find some ammo here in the box and there are one or two other items um, around the area that you will find of particular use there we go handgun ammo I'll never say no to ammo I'll tell you that right now it's gonna have a clearly having a think for myself and trying to psych myself up after I got smashed the first time if you have any interest in seeing how the first battle played out, um, the link to the the full section, the broadcast of this, is in the description. If you want to see how I made my way to this area, and um, I guess how the whole sequence went. So a lot of the doors will have these uh, spider type things on them. You can just like like you encountered in the um, in the, the old house. You can just burn them off though. some shotgun shells there and I should have the makings of some handgun bullets which I'll never say no to ammo is good and at the end of the hallway there is some solid fuel oh I'm sorry I call that wrong it's a stimulant to find items. Wonder where the solid fuel is. Should come from here. And here we go. <coughs> so she grabs you, so aim, and give her a headshot to get her to release. Now my aim was really off the second time I encountered her here. I wasted four shots just to get that to happen. Now as soon as she's done, I have a choice. I can turn back and go downstairs or head up. I did not head up the first time, so I wanted to look the second time. And I decided, because you're in no rush really, I decided I'm going to pick up some items. Now the key to the battle, what I found is, when you find her, offload until you put her to the ground. When she gets back up, 
offload again. If she runs, you follow. Anytime you have um, anytime you have the opportunity to reload, reload. Alright, we're gonna kinda get her off the ceiling here. She jumps up, we take her down. <laughs> she kinda went too far there. And in my haste I took a kind of a slap from her. But that's fine, she's up. So I'm gonna start unloading on her again with ammo. Now you really want to stay after her because anytime she gets away she releases those flying bug things. Um, two of them tended to come after me, or two of them did come after me each and every time. Um, and what I tried to do is I tried to fight him off using the knife to save ammo. Um, in retrospect I would have saved some of the fuel and I would have burned them just to make it faster because I feel I wasted a bit of time here and they just frustrated the hell out of me trying to swipe them would have been much handi handier to just burn them and this is time I could have been using you know running around the house trying to find her so as I said when you do find her offload on her don't waste ammunition you know when she's uh, when she's down wait for her to start moving to get back up and then start pumping ammunition into her again when she moves follow kind of you want to try and stay on top of her you don't want to retreat unless absolutely necessary Shotgun. So we're gonna start. Oh, see that? Whew, that second round went off just in time before she was gonna strike me. And we're following her again. Now the problem is, at the time of playing this game, I didn't know where that fireplace went. Now I do. If you go up the stairs, I thought she was going into the fireplace, taking a left and going through the wall. But it, the fireplace actually goes upstairs. So was I to do this again? Every time she goes into the fireplace, I would sprint up the stairs and take her. And there she is upstairs. So we're going to hit her with a, <laughs> with a grenade round. Oh, that was beautiful. And follow up with some shotgun shells. And again, I just get that in before she attacks me. Right, we have an opportunity to reload. She got me that time. I was not happy with that slap. Not at all. Now I've got to get, I've got a choice. I can follow her or get some healing on. I chose to follow her. She goes down again. See, this, those shots aren't registering. Well, the first one didn't. And she's gone back into what I'm going to call the chimney thing. Now, because I know it goes up. Alright, so we have our healing on. Again, we are on the lookout for her. I'm reloading everything I've got. I've only really used the shotgun and the grenade launcher last time. So yeah, I'm on the look, because I don't know where to run to chase her, I'm on the look for her to pop up again. I, and in retrospect, I would have done a bit more exploring. Okay, so she's got me. She's come up from the floor. Look at this. So I've hit her with a flamethrower, and what I learned is that doesn't work. So pop some ammunition into her. The headshot will do it, just like the very starting sequence at the window. So then I decided to burn her. Switch. She had a shotgun. My timing was fantastic there, just as she nearly struck me. Shotgun shell to the head, and down she goes. So it's not been so bad in terms of boss battles for now. Put a bit of damage into her, she tries to run, she disappears. If you figure out where everything connects to, you can stay on top of her and try to race her to the next exit point and continue to unload damage into her. I was, um, because this was only my second time running this boss here, I didn't know any of the exit points, and so this is the second time I got stuck with these annoying flying things. And I'm just, so, and there she is, she pops up, and grenade launcher to the ready, and off we go. Now at this point, she's gone down on her knees, she's actually done with, she's dead. I wasn't sure, I was still kind of adrenaline fused, and I wasted three shotgun shells, which I'm, looking back on now, I'm very disappointed with myself, I must say. But as you can see, it's pretty fast battle. So come in, grab everything you can. When you try to go up the stairs to the third floor after dropping from from the third to the second, it initiates. Then just stay on top of her. 
keep bullets going into her when she's lying flat on the floor stop shooting as she starts to get up she'll start taking that damage again stay after her as much as you can and you will be fine this is quite an easy one i must say anyway hope that proved helpful if you like this video please like this video um, would definitely appreciate a share if you have one in you and in the center of your screen right now is the subscribe button if you are not subscribed would really appreciate a subscription and uh, certainly help grow the channel and the content that i put out anyway as i said i hope that proves helpful and until next time take it easy all the best